Welcome to the Kano Cast, where you can't stop the crypto spew if you tried. This is Christmas Day 2023. Hex Lena wants you to know that lots of historians place Jesus' birthday in the spring. But whatever, you guys know that we are conditioned to be productive in our brain's bubble, to serve the people who maintain that bubble. We are the prize. Free yourself, Hex.com motherfucker. Maybe Richard has the controller's trickery in mind when we tweeted yesterday, saying Merry Xmas y'all, I hope to do a short video for you on the 25th. No mention of Christmas, but y'all, yeah, we are going to get a video from Richard later today, so keep your eye out, it will most definitely be put on his Twitter account, but that will also be forwarded to Telegram of course. Love that I can cuss on here, on to the news, gopulse.com has released a crypto bubbles website for Pulse Chain. That's right, go to gopulse.com forward slash bubbles, and you will see lots of projects on Pulse Chain in the crypto red and green bubbles layout. It is way exciting, and I at first thought, I hope someone gets this page a better domain name and forwards the traffic over. Today Trap Gravity will do a live stream on this channel here Hex Futures. He will bring on crypto dgens this channel has never hosted here before. The point is, well, I don't know, you should ask him on the live stream. Link in the description, you can click the notification button. Oh, hit the like button, thank you. So just in time for Trap Gravity's live stream. DJ Polly tweeted about the trap token going to zero. I don't know who made this token, and I don't know the message behind the tweet. But it looks like Trap ignored the tweet. Sticker guy didn't though, saying laugh out loud, the obvious. I wonder if he was talking about anonymous rug fuels or personalities. But dang, looks at that red line to Hades. For a while now, YouTube channel Obscure Crypto Gems has been recording voice chats and highlighting interesting conversations that naturally OCURR. If you thought I was behind this, I'm not. I would never give you so much false hope on projects like Atropa. Instead, this channel skips over key points that I deliver when I'm in the room recorded. But I wouldn't put it past a bit to be making this channel. It currently has 5600 subscribers. And the last video recording of a Twitter space has 72 likes. This is Obscure Crypto Gems if you wish to follow up. Whoever is behind the channel, I have noticed they have Hex Hangout blocked, which is a red flag. Anyway, this recording has double O click evaluating the stages of Richard's public image over that past three years, and a bit Hex talking about how he blocks negative players. And just doesn't engage at all with people that bait him. He says there is only one way forward, it is everyone getting along on Pulse Chain. What do y'all think? Can you do no harm on Pulse Chain? Are you already in heaven and there are no more threats? Those are some easy words to say when you have an organization paying you to be their outreach team lead. That topic covered in a previous volcano cast, and onward we go. Hex Lena wants to let us know that the Pulse Coin list has set up the bot to airdrop Pulse Chain gas to people's wallets as they bridge over to our chain, but also, she wants to point out that we can help provide the funds by donating to the bot's wallet. That's pretty cool. Just a reminder, it's 1,000 Pulse Coins sent out to each wallet bridging. This is a butler-like effort RH had suggested would be good for new happy users. So this guy Joe Fuss found a JP Morgan report that mentions Pulse Chain at the end of it. Crypto Coffee retweeted it. It reads, JP Morgan warned that it is too early to be getting excited about a resurgence of decentralized finance and non-fungible token activity while noting the encouraging rise of new chains such as Aptos. Sway, and our beloved Pulse Chain. Fuck ya, yeah, get the name out there. But this makes us giggle right? Too early to get excited means hurry up on your acquisition plan. Joe Fuss, if you're watching this, check your DMs. A while back you posted a picture about your outreach efforts into a dirt hut village. I sought to understand this, but you have yet to respond. My mail hex efforts sometimes target people in underdeveloped nations, where they have a cell phone, a brain, and some pretty pearly white teeth. Looks like some hexagons are taking the pulse bottom seriously. They are selling their sports cars to buy more crypto. Here is DeFi Triggs telling the Twitter community that he would rather have more hex than continuing to drive this man toy around. In the replies we see Corey Geary saying that he is selling his orange Corvette for 2 billion pulse chain coin. Is that a steal? Tell me in the comments. But hey, Corey is wearing a one of those new pulse chain gemstone charms on his necklace so you know he means business. Shout out to Playtech who finds many surfaces for lonely stickers. He has been a recipient of male hex. I you too would like stickers magnets beer coasters biz NAS cards and small hex promo items like these. 
Please visit mailhex.xyz or reach out to EcoBuilder for files to print on your dime locally. Mail and mailing items is a fun way to increase community power. I hope you have a fun time out with Family Play Tech. And now, let's let DJ Crypto Modich sign us off on this Christmas Day 2023. Be the good shining through. Merry Christmas, Hexagon.